Donc on se retrouve pour regarder le guide mécanique de Saber. Bon la vidéo est un peu longue, elle dure 49 minutes. Donc il euh, faut bien s'installer et être prêt à apprendre un maximum quand même. Que j'avais mis à regarder plus tard parce que elle m'intéressait vachement. Et euh, comme ça on va pouvoir prendre des trucs tous ensemble. Voilà. This is a classic misdirection, but we actually hit Zara with the net. So it started with trap, and then uh, we pretend to look at the tower, and then we sprinted at Zyra, and then we hit Zyra with net while she's autoing, and then we misdirected that into a Q onto Zyra, which is lethal, and then we uh, actually hit the Zyra, so we, we procked a headshot, uh, and then uh, we noticed that she's in headshot range, so we sprinted forward for it with ghost, okay? Ok, donc pour l'instant c'est juste des clips où ils montrent à peu près les trucs et après ils expliquent, expliquera sûrement. Il joue les tas là. Oh, il est chaud hein. Nutshell, Normal. Les mécaniques que vous devez savoir sont trap yourself, unengage, right? Trap yourself before engage. Q flash is a pseudo guarantee on Q, so when you're flashing an important ability, you should Q to combo or trap to combo. Always have Q flash or trap flash every time you flash, pretty much no exceptions. Every time you net, you must combo with the trap or Q because it's a free W timer because um, you can't do anything mid-air on net, so you might as well trap. And it's also a, a misdirect for your Q, so it's pretty much a free Q timer. So anytime you net, must trap or Q, okay? Um, the rest of it is trapping on convex angles uh, so that the game makes the enemy champion path on it. And then uh, if you can cash out on Q, do it. So on trap, Q immediately. On team ACC, Q immediately. And that's kind of, that's pretty much it. Uh, Kaylin in a nutshell, okay? Oh yeah, and last but not least, make sure you have headshot ready every time you go into a fight. So anytime you're clearing mid, make sure you have headshot after you clear the wave. That's why static is so good. Hello, my, <clears throat> my little um, minions, I guess. I don't really know how to start this video, but... I'm here to uh, do a little mini Kaylin guide. I don't know. I just felt like it today. I was like, man, I should make something. And then I was like, eh, what do you guys want? And then so I was like, eh, I have no idea what you guys want. Let's make a little mini Kaylin mechanics guide. Okay. Mini Kaylin guide. Um, we'll 50 minutes, it's a mini, right? Like builds and stuff and whatnot. But basically, the format of this video is going to be um, how I play Kaylin in these dark and trying times. If you didn't know, in Platinum Plus, Kaylin has the second worst win rate of all Mais oui, c'est ce que j'avais vu. Kaylin, c'est vraiment mal classé. Being the worst if it wasn't for Aphelios, okay? And uh, if you haven't noticed, she's kind of terrible right now, okay? Allez, so pas I'm follow going to teach you guys how uh, I play Kaylin. At least uh, mechanically, you can uh, probably learn a lot from this video. And then from for like a build, from like a build perspective, you guys, you know. You can see uh, it's 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 my like thought process in choosing my runes and okay? So uh, let's get into it. So basically, uh, in terms of like runes... Uh, Il joue beaucoup yeah, avec yeah, uh, static yeah, et moi j'aime really pas trop. So right now, I prefer this precision tree. Usually uh, lethal temple or fleet fork. I think it makes the laning a lot better. Um, and so some, something typical would be like, uh, let's say like we gotta play safe. Je jump, j'aime pas trop. This, and then we take absolute focus gathering storm for the late game scaling. Après j'ai pas beaucoup joué, and mais... And then um, other like runes you can do, like other sample rune pages. It would be like lethal tempo, if you can get lethal tempo value in lane. And then um, we, Dark Harvest is a classic, okay? So I would run Dark Harvest if... Uh, <clears throat> basically I'm feeling like it, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> You can you can harvest the shit out of them in lane, you know. We've got some like bully lane, Kaylin Lux versus like I don't know something really weak, okay? Something plus Jenna, you know what I'm saying? We got the counter matchup, it's free. And then like another rune page you'll see me do sometimes is you can run first strike with minion D mat. Um, this is also doable. This is also against the free lane. This is basically like if you think you can get first strike value outside of lane and it's a free lane. So what I mean by that is you're gonna press R on a squishy target. Like Zyra support, I fucking love first strike against Zyra support. You just press R on her the oh yeah, entire game. They can't play ouais, the game. Quand des squishy and lane gagnante, you, gagnant, know, you peux partir like les quoi. Or Nami or Yumi. I'm probably not gonna be running first strike. They're just gonna heal after you press R, right? This is like a press R first, okay? So everyone loves the spicy Dark Harvest. So we're gonna run Dark Harvest. And then of course take DRX because this is the best skin in the game. And then let's get into the Quoi, uh, le best skin? No, no. Uh, no. We'll teach you the most important fundamental no. mechanics you need to know. Okay, so uh, first let's talk about builds. Okay, so currently I am a static only. 
okay so i will run static first no matter what i does not matter what the build is i feel like if you don't take static first you can't play the game as kaylin right okay so so here's the reasoning okay um the problem with kaylin is that she cannot get to the point where she can reliably carry and that point is when you can threaten the closest person with headshot uh passive headshot being and that point okay is when uh you hit level 13 at like three items at a minimum okay so how do we get there static is going to help us get there consistently okay so i used to run like collective first i used to run like essence first i think all that stuff is not as consistent because let's say something goes wrong your team dying maybe you need to push and then like push and run because you know your whole team is dying but actually sometimes they're doing dragon and you can't push and run in time because everyone has infinite move speed they come catch you and then you're like pissed because not only did your team die you couldn't also you also couldn't get the wave and then run away you know stuff like that it happens all the time like in the mid game je comprenais, c'est bien ce que je, je soupçonnais. C'est qu'il explique en gros c'est beaucoup pour euh, le push et euh, récupérer euh, le niveau 13 le plus facilement possible, enfin le plus rapidement possible. Et du coup de façon constante, parce qu'ils disent euh, cohérente mais c'est constante. Euh, J'imagine. Bah, enfin je sais pas. Mais euh, c'est beaucoup pour le push tout ça. Et j'ai évité de faire des pauses parce que sinon la vidéo va vraiment être longue. Mais je comprends. Mais est-ce qu'il y a des moves speed sur le statique Je sais pas. Est-ce que... Avec la lame tempête, c'est beaucoup euh, mieux pour les fights en fait. Mais je comprends beaucoup pour le push. Le push, c'est important avec Kathleen. Mais Now, um, let's get into uh, like build ideas. So one idea I've been running is going IE against frontline. Let's say we're just we have to right click. I don't know. I don't know for whatever reason we just got to right click. Uh, I would say if you have no idea how to play Kaylin, you should probably run this strategy. We buy IE second, and then uh, depending on the game, it could really be anything. Um, usually like rapid fire or maybe like a Lord Dom's if you're like really behind, or uh, uh, maybe even like I don't know. I haven't actually run collector third uh, because if I'm gonna <laughs> buy a collector, I'm gonna go dust blade. Uh, but it, it it can be it can really be a lot lot of things. Okay, so I would recommend like a Zeo third, PD third, Lord Dom third, or a uh, or a Runon's third even. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, uh, ah, a but don't like that, IE full build will have to include like a BT, a Lord Dom, and a Rapid Fire. And then uh, eventually you would sell Static. Uh, Essence did get nerfed for later, but I'm still kind of down for the ability haste. Um, basically, it's your choice of crit item here. Or alternatively, you could buy a non-crit item like a GA and sell boots. Okay, And something like this will be like your late game build. Um, maybe if we're feeling interesting... Maybe we could do something like uh, like this. Oh, sorry. Uh, maybe we, we would buy like a crit item here. Um, I don't know. Something like let's some something in name like this, and then we buy like a wits end. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Well, it kind of matters. Just remember that your core items are like IE, Rapid Fire, Lord Dom, BT. Okay. And then the other build pad, the one that everyone likes, you know, the more interesting. Bah ouais, c'est du vent, non? And then uh, I've been running like an idea of essence because it got buffed earlier into a uh, dusk blade. Uh, you don't have to do that. It's still huh? kind of experimental, but I think it's actually uh, not bad. Um, if you don't like Essence, then you can just do the El Clasico. Uh, we do the Dusk Blade into Collector, into Lord Doms, and this is going to kill pretty much everyone in the entire game. Um, and then obviously you go BT for the AD, so boots. Now this is a giga cracked build because uh, you can have six items, no boots, and it's super lit, okay? Um, Quoi, no boots? Very much a... Uh, OT value build, Q value build. Ah, okay. non, mais pas de now, speed aussi. Let's get into uh, mechanical ideas. Bah. Okay, so let's start with uh, the basics. Okay, so we're gonna assume you know what all of Kaylin. C'est important les bots, non? Okay, so uh, habits to know. These are the most important habits, mechanical habits for you to know on Kaylin right now. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, Q. Okay, Q is gonna be your main damage dealer. Um, no matter what build you're running until like level 13. So it's very important. So I'm going to tell you the first rule is that if you can hit the Q, do it. Okay. So if someone is like Blitz is hooking and you're like, ah, shit, I didn't trap in time. It doesn't matter. Just cash out EQ. Okay. If you can cash out full damage Q, no hesitation. You just do it. Okay. That's rule number one. Because this is your entire damage. And I, what I mean by that is you need full damage Q. It cannot go. Ouais, C'est pour ça qu'on max un peu au début. Like okay. 
full cash out full damage Q as fast as possible because this is your uh this is basically all your damage and is you're not gonna get many opportunities to guarantee a hit on this. Okay, so let's say uh, someone's running at you, right? And it's a squishy target. Don't greed for the EW. Okay, I don't even EW. Uh, don't greed for the EW. I'm down to just cash out on EQ with a headshot. Okay, that's rule number one. Now, um, extending from that is on trap target. Let's say someone rounds the corner and they step on a trap. And you hear that sound? Q first. Okay, the reason being is that if you do not Q first, let's say uh, they step on a trap. And you're like, oh shit, they step on a trap, auto attack Q. At that last second, right before that Q hits, they can flash out, dash out, kill, dodge. They can do anything. They can like blink out. They can they can pretty much do anything, okay? And especially if they have Merc Treads or any kind of uh, tenacity. So when you hear this sound, Q first. When I hear this sound, I look for it. I'm like, Q first. And, the re and, and you know, if you auto attack late, that's actually fine because they can't dodge the auto attack. Like, watch. Q. Oh shit, I got a Q. And that auto attack will follow them no matter where they flash or where they blink or whatever. They cannot dodge the auto attack, but they can dodge the Q right before it reaches them. So Q ouais, ça c'est logique, mais en vrai, euh, si tu attends pas, c'est dur. Hein. Uh, Parce qu'il faut quand même réagir assez tôt. Okay, second. Let's go to. Uh, we've talked about Q. Oh yeah, we should talk about flash ideas because I think some of the clips I'm going to show you is going to have some flash ideas. So when you need a flash to dodge an ability, Q. You can use your flash as a pseudo guarantee to land your Q. What am I talking about here? Let's say uh, someone's chasing you, and if you Q them in the face, if you Q the squishy target, it's extremely obvious. Look, I'm gonna auto attack and Q. Kaylin is looking in this direction the entire time. They know exactly where you're firing that Q. Look, you do this, it's never gonna hit, I promise you, okay? Now, if you do something like um, ways to uh, pretend you're not curing them, is to attack something else, right? You should attack something else in a different direction. And then they'll they'll think you're aiming over here, but in fact you're looking at them, right? Very effective, very effective. This is the first basic to memorize. Second basic to memorize is using net. Same same concept. You're looking over here, and you cue midair. Okay, you can do this. And I, I'm sure if you guys watch any of my videos, you've seen this a lot, right? You need to misdirect your actual cue. Okay. You're, you need to misdirect your actual skill shot. You need to make them think you're looking in a different direction. And then if this net is important to land on this target, okay, now you got to auto attack first, net, and then Q. You see what I'm saying? So like this guy's lethal, you need to net this guy, then you must look in this direction. Okay? So you're gonna like, something like this. Okay? And that's how you like, start chaining things together, okay? First step is, you need to land a skill shot on a non ouais, target. Du bait, quoi. You must misdirect somehow. Je vois Another example is, auto attack him, right? And all of a sudden, you net this guy, then the first target's like, wait, he's looking over here and you kill him in the face, right? It'd be like this. Something like that, okay? Anyways, let's... You, it's something you should practice. Misdirection is very important for landing your skill shots. But um, we're, that, that leads us to our second point is the way uh, other way you can pseudo-guarantee your Q is with flash, okay? When you flash, your opponent's like, oh shit, what are they doing, okay? So let's say I'm looking over here and I flash like this. This is a pseudo-guarantee because he has no idea what this it looks like. Like, uh, if I'm looking at this, I'm like, what the fuck is Kaylin doing? And then the Q is coming out. Right, so very good way oh, to rare. a dodge an important ability, um, and b pseudo land Q. So anytime you're flashing, you should in fact prepare a Q. Okay, so anytime you're flashing, I have to flash this ash arrow. I'm auto attacking this guy. Oh shit! I flashed ash arrow. Q flash. You must prepare Q flash in your head. And the only way to do that is say, oh, I gotta flash the arrow beforehand. Therefore, I'm gonna Q beforehand like this. Okay, or this is a blitz hook. Okay, I go like this. Okay, second way to uh, uh, get more flash value is with a trap, okay? If you have no Q available, or Q flash is not valuable because they're frontline or something, must trap, trap flash. And ideally, trap to where you're going, like this, okay? Or trap where they are. So let's say this is a ranged champion, and I'm gonna flash over here. The path they will take is along this wall, trap flash like this, okay? And if you need to be more conservative because they're more moose speed, like this, okay? It's very important. And then if this is an assassin chasing you, trap to where you're going, like this. Okay, very important, very important that you can get squeeze more value out of your flash because, you know, your flash plays are going to be very impactful when you play the game, okay? Now, um, <clears throat> next combo that you need to know, obviously, is going to be EW, but it's not the EW that you all know, okay? So this is the EW that you guys all know, okay? You're just going to EW the, the same guy, okay? Now, this is not bad. It's actually the standard, okay? EW the, 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 the same guy is, is actually quite standard, but um, 
Bah, pas le EW, mais. EZ plutôt. Mais le mettre sous le mec. Si vous voulez EW, vous pouvez aller pour ça. Bon, maintenant, je vais Si je le pour le ouais There is a timing, by the way, um, to this. And uh, if I do it better, it will be, look something like this. This is actually not far enough, okay? So I want to put it like over here. So by the time the trap is armed, I'm on top of it. That is the ideal timing, okay? Like this, okay? And I'm out of here, okay? Or, or like this one. And you round the corner, something like this, okay? Now, the reason why it has to be so far away is because these guys are going to flash. Look, it armed, and I'm over here. They will flash past it. I promise you it happens all the time, okay? So tricks you need to know, trap, EW, okay, this is how you get more traps out. You can always you can always trap before actions, trap before auto, right? Trap before auto, trap before net, EW, and then you can put down three traps like that, stuff like that, okay? Oh yeah, uh, you should weave your uh, traps in between abilities. Like uh, I would trap is the most important timer, so I would trap first. So we're doing our misdirection idea. Remember, misdirection is you're facing a direction with an action, hiding your actual skill shot intent. I want to net this guy, trap this guy over here, and all of a sudden I've misdirected two people. This guy got hit by the net, this guy got hit by the Q, stuff like that, okay? So uh, I know it's hard to all keep in your head, but this is just kind of like the rundown. So you guys just go practice this in your games and or the practice tool. Um, we got to do this fast because, uh, you know, otherwise the video will be like an hour long. Anyways, uh, next combo you need to know is... Uh, yeah, oh, the video dure environ une heure, ouais. You can use your Q uh, min net, right? Um, you can change the direction of this, it will fire. Uh, in your mid air, so if you go, if it looks like this is the, the right angle, right? Or you should aim, you, this is the forbidden combo, you aim the same target. If you miss the forbidden combo, you're fucked, okay? So this is why it's called the forbidden combo, is because you guys use it all the time without thinking. So, uh, you should be very careful with the forbidden combo. So I would rather misdirect and then forbidden combo, right? Like misdirect, forbidden combo. But if you just auto attack him, forbidden combo, you will miss 90% of the time. I promise you, bro. Everyone's got infinite move speed and whatnot. You will miss 90% of the time. Must misdirect, infinite combo. Or oh, sorry, uh, forbidden combo. Okay. So anything like this, anything like this, and then like this will be amazing. Okay. Now, <clears throat> um, another uh little uh cheeky combo you can do. This is not important at all. This is just for you guys who's trying to style. Is you can er, okay. And why is this important? In bot lane, if there is, uh, you know, support ADC, ADC is low, you can actually net the support to slow them, right? And then immediately ulti, and still have time to proc the headshot. Okay, a little bit cheeky, but uh, very doable. You can also do it on the same target, right? You're just gonna, you, uh, you can surprise kill them, for example. If you have net headshot ulti lethal, you can actually uh, surprise them by going like this, switch up the order, and then headshot them. They'll still be chasing you because they don't know they're about to die. Because if you do this instead, And then you ulti them, they have time to like kill you or something. Uh, I promise you, um, they do have time to kill you or something weird, okay? So if you switch up the order, it's actually very relevant. Le you ER, j'ai jamais fait, like, je crois. Uh, you can do like a uh, trap ER, right? Anything like that is very good. Anytime you ulti, you should also trap yourself. Remember, trap can be used before any action, okay? So trap before auto, right? Trap before Q to misdirect, okay? And then trap before net to influence <laughs> movement. Okay. Une folie. Il faut les avoir les okay. trap so trap can be used before literally auto attack Q, W, or uh, sorry, not trap before trap. Uh, auto attack Q, E, and R. Okay, very important. And flash. Okay, trap before flash. Something like that. Oops, I'm flashing the wrong way. Anyways, these are the basic mechanics now. Okay. Now <laughs> let's get into um, uh, actual uh, game. Oh yeah, actually, sorry, we should do some more um, mechanical ideas. Okay, so in fights. The things you want to watch for are on trap, um, you must Q first. Okay, we talked about that. What? And second rule, every time you use net, you must combo. Okay, oh, so I don't care what happens. You, every time you net, it's because you need to run away from a frontline carry, frontline diver. So you must trap to where you're going. Okay, or it's a ranged champion trying to chase you, trap right in front of them. Or 
you have lethal uh, with EQ. So EQ. Okay? Net must be comboed with one of these things. Okay? E, kiting, EW kiting. EW kiting range champion. Or EQ lethal. Or EQ damage. Or whatever you want to call it. Okay? Maybe even ER. Okay? Ça, I, I, there is almost no situation where you should not do one of these things. Force du vent, du coup. Three things okay? Trap is extremely important to combo with net. Because it's basically a free time. While you're mid-air, you can't do anything anyways. So you're putting down a trap for free. Okay? Very important. Very important. Uh, another mechanical tip you need to know, uh, something we already discussed, is you must trap before uh, anything. Okay? So let's say we're in a fight here, and we are trying to uh, take control of this dragon because there's like a dragon fight going on. And it's like a Talon and like a Hecarim. Okay? So one thing you need to know is you must see the fight before it happens. See how they're going to uh, engage on you, okay? So what I mean by that is these traps, they need to be used before the fight even happens. Like the, the traps need to be on the ground before they even go for you, okay? How come ulti's your new trap? That's too late. That shit, that ulti's, ba that, that ulti's past the trap already, okay? And must the trap must come before they engage. Nine times out of ten, okay? They have a Hecarim here. I'm trapping this, standing here. Trap myself. Boom. From this direct line, he has to run past this in order to get to me. And then if he wants to ulti past this, I have a trap on top of me. So if he E's me or ulti's me, he must be trapped. If he's not trapped, you fucked up, okay? Same thing with Talon, okay? Talon's trying to jump over the wall. I'm going to trap the wall or I'm going to trap myself. Or you should do both, okay? So the amount of traps you need to save is one for teammate CC. I have Morgana. I need to save a trap. One for EW combo. And then everything else should be terrain-based, uh, preventing enemy engage. In fact, there's another problem. It's that, oui, you do it for you, it works, okay? Mais il y a des gens qui quand ils font e fight ils vont tout le temps tout droit jusqu'à la mort. Ils font pas du front to back, tu vois, genre tu tapes, tu recules, tu les laisses à venir, et quand tu fais ça avec Katyn, c'est trop fort. Katyn elle est plus forte à, à se faire chase que chase. Bon, elle est forte dans les deux parce que avec son R, mais euh, c'est plus fort quand tu recules parce qu'il y a le E qui te fait reculer, il y a le Z qui empêche, euh, qui bloque les, une certaine, euh, certaine espace quoi. And so to give you an idea of um, good at trap ideas is anytime. Du coup, si tes alliés vont tout droit, bah t'es pas bien. Hein. Uh, con, this is con, con, convex, convex angle, okay, um, <clears throat> you should, convex like this, you should put it at the, uh, like the angle, the tip, or whatever, okay, concave is like this, this is concave, okay, where, uh, they, the game will not make you path past it, look, if I'm clicking here to the scuttle crab, it will not make me path through a concave angle, the game will not allow it, ouais, après... sorry, the game will not naturally, ça, quand t'as un petit peu de logique, ou même au pire, tu testes toi-même, tu sais où est-ce que le jeu va te faire passer, tu vois. C'est comme quand tu mets un, on dirait un GPS ou quoi, ou même tu le vois sur la map, il y a les traits. Ils vont juste prendre au plus court. Il faut juste réfléchir au plus court. And another con con convex angle right here, okay? So, <clears throat> anytime you're playing Kaelin, set up traps, concave angle, where enemy melee will engage on you, okay? So, we'll find this dragon. Uh, let's just go to Baron, fuck it. Okay, we're gonna go Baron here, and we're, we're, we're like, have to face check this, okay? And then they're on the Baron, okay? So, convex angles is, you can include bushes if you want, like, boom, boom, boom. This is my approach, okay? And now, I'm fighting, trap, EW, and now I... C'est quasiment la même que je fais. This, sorry, this trap is not very good. This it should probably be like over here even. And now, if they want to engage, they're stepping on all their shit. And then a range champion wants to go in the bush, they're going to step on that one. Sorry, you should make sure it's in the bush so they don't see it. Boom. Okay. That's what you want to do. Uh, <clears throat> and then, um, the other thing you need to know is if you, uh, if you have three items and you don't have headshot up, you're fucking trolling. Okay. So what I mean by that is, uh, let's say, let's dump this headshot real quick. And then let's spawn minions, okay? So let's say we're like clearing minions. Um, <clears throat> let's say we're clearing minions here. I know it's like really weird that we're clearing minions in their base. But, but, where's the minions here? But, um, here we go. Okay, I have no stacks. Okay, I'm clearing mid. Pretend I'm clearing mid here at their inhibitor. I'm clearing mid. I need six. I need headshot no matter what. So that when the fight starts, I can headshot the closest guy. Or uh, headshot a juicy target. Okay, so go like this, two, three, four, five, and then six, Q, boom, six, boom, done. I have headshot, now I can go fight. Now, the reason why this is so important is because 
you're at three plus items and you don't do this, you're missing infinite damage, right? Because when I approach this Baron fight over here, and then I see that their ADC is low, I can flash and like headshot them, right? Like this, something like that. I have like a, a flash headshot play, and I one shot them, and the enemy secondary carry is right here, sees that I'm headshotting this guy, missed the rag, boom, and now I just combo infinite, right? And now we're just combo infinite here. Like, ouais, je vois like, 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 how crazy can it be? I'm like, Le fait de commencer avec un headshot va permettre de finir une, une cible pour pouvoir en entamer une deuxième, comme il a expliqué euh, tout à l'heure, pour mieux toucher tes sorts la plus de chance de les toucher, il vous suffit de, de bait et de tirer sur un autre quoi. Coach, let me, let me, let me, let me get a headshot ready. Okay, this is like a sample play. Okay, this is like a sample play. Enemy Kais is low, flash, EW, Q, right? And now everyone's like dying, right? And then, um, <coughs> this is like an example, okay? It doesn't even have to be like that. It doesn't have to look like that. It's just that um, that's just like how the setup works, right? Is that you start with headshot, you have a headshot play. That's naturally uh, a lead in to trap first, which is naturally a lead in to headshot, which is misdirecting into another skill shot with net. And then like it's a melee assassin. So sorry, this EW is really bad if this is a melee assassin, right? Uh, pretend this auto is a headshot. It's like a, we get, we get like a, a trap, trap, Headshot, EW to where I'm going, Q flash. Okay? And that's how like these plays get chained together. Is with these habits that I just talked about. Okay? And it it'll become like it should become second nature. Je pense qu'il manque un peu moi, c'est le Z là où je vais plutôt. Ça m'arrive de me mettre sur moi. Ça m'arrive de le mettre sous les mecs, mais pas derrière. Um one thing uh some like nuances we're about to see. Let's show you like the the highlight clips where uh, we're strong and we can do some crazy stuff. And then next, I'm gonna show you the uh, last three days of me playing Caitlyn, just like some like random kills so you guys can get a feel for- um, The clip? So you guys can get a feel for what's going on here, okay? So let's let's hop into the clips. <clears throat> let's okay, go. so I'm gonna show you the, go uh, the clips. Like montage clips first, okay? Um, let's take a look. And I, I guess I'm gonna have to mute this because I'm like talking in these, but uh, I'm gonna explain to you what's going on here. Okay, so here, this is the, uh, this is the Z clip, right? where uh, he ulties and then on trap IQ, right? It's very simple. Um, it looks like it's happening really fast, but if we wait, if we <laughs> <run> <laughs> don't notice. Oh, timing is a bit rapid. Ouais, bah, ouais, 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 ouais. <laughs> that, that the trap comes first anytime um, there's a play happening. En fait, c'est dur de se placer exactement là où vous êtes. En fait, je, je, je comprends maintenant, je sais comment. C'est de là où il vient, ça va, il va arriver derrière, tu vois. C'est-à-dire, tu prends sa position initiale et tu prends l'opposé par rapport à toi, tu vois. Mais il faut pas le mettre à tes pieds, il y a, il y a un petit décalage. Et si le piège n'est pas assez précis, en fait c'est chiant, il faut quand même être assez précis. On ne croirait pas, mais il faut quand même être assez précis. Et surtout sur le timing, si tu le fais pas assez tôt. Trap must come first, otherwise the timing is fucked, because it takes 1.1 seconds for the trap to arm, and you die in about 1.5 seconds, okay? Um, in today's League of Legends, maybe less. So trap must come first, and then. Uh, after that, you look for net, or uh, if they get trapped, you Q first, and then you finish the play, okay? So in this case, Z ulti will always come out behind you, trap behind you immediately, or trap immediately and stand uh, on top of the trap, and then you just chill, he gets trapped, make space, Q first, kill him, okay? Next. Okay, this is a classic EQ sideways, right? Um, I don't have to explain this, right? But basically, um, we're just going to go with the... <coughs> We had headshot up, we were counting our headshot, and then we just headshot EQ sideways. That is pretty, pretty, pretty self-explanatory, right? And EQ, uh, misdirection EQ is best used when they're lethal, okay? So if you look at this one, this one's a classic. I see he has, uh, he's a lethal, obviously, because he has the dust blade on him. The Dark Harvest ready. I'm just going to EQ directly at them. And the, the trick for EQ is that assume they will stand still, okay? What I mean by that is when they see your net, they'll go back to the original position. I don't know why. But they will uh, naturally go back to their original position. So just shoot it directly at them. Okay? Um, so in this case, we're using uh, this misdirection technique. Je reviens. Ça a sonné.
Like a shot. To pretend to look at Udir when in fact we are looking at Virs. And we're using our net to misdirect while the Q is the actual um Q is the actual target. Virus is the actual target. And we actually we also got the knowledge hook uh for free. It's kinda lit. Um next. Um this one's with full items. Uh and uh one thing to note is that uh this is from before the ADC item rework. So now you cannot buy IE with Duskblade because IE is also mythic, but it does not change the playstyle. Okay, so you're going to see some old clips, but it's the exact same playmaking ideas, right? Instead of an IE, here it would be like a collector or something, right? So, <clears throat> no problem, okay? So here, you can see we start with headshot, very important. You just headshot a carry, and then uh, you trap convex angle, and then you trap uh, the CC uh, for Ash. Ah, yeah, trop chaud. Okay, and now if you want to break it down, uh, you know, if you want to break down these habits real quick, um, <clears throat> we go back. Remember, we, we stacked up our headshot before we make our play. We headshot a carry, instantly kill them, and then we trap before action, right? Trap convex, then we auto attacked, and then on auto attack, we trapped the ash that was being uh, CC'd, and then we queued, right? Uh, sorry, who did we queue here? We're supposed to queue on trap, but uh, I guess uh, Lulu is just dead no matter what. We queued ash instead, and then uh, we uh, finish with that. But you can finish with anything, honestly. You can just right click or something, it doesn't really matter, right? But that's kind of like the general idea, okay? That's how, you, that's how you can pump out all this damage. This one's kind of a banger. Um, we're gonna split EQ here. So we have a headshot ready, right? Trap on the tower is very good. Then <laughs> we net <laughs> we net the Zyra and then kill the Q the Zyra and she instantly dies. I like, oh, have a headshot, so I just ran forward to kill Zyra, okay? So this is a like classic misdirection, but we actually hit Zyra with the net. So it started with trap, and then uh we pretend to look at the tower, and then we sprinted at Zyra. And then we hit Zyra with net while she's autoing. And then we misdirected that into a Q onto Zyra, which is lethal. And then we uh, actually hit the Zyra, so we, we proc the headshot. Uh, and then uh, we noticed that she's in headshot range, so we sprinted forward for it with Ghost. Okay? So, um, if you didn't catch all that, I wanted to uh, Q the Zyra. So how do I Q the Zyra? I must misdirect hit the Zyra somehow. How do we do that? I must use net on someone. Uh, on, Zyra, on Zyra. How do I want to use the Zyra net? I misdirect by hitting the tower and then sprint at her, okay? So, misdirect the, misdirect the Q with your net, misdirect the net by sprinting at the tower, right? Pretending to auto it, and then there you go. That's the play. Then net you, then net the Zara, Q the Zaya, uh, finish Zara. Sprint forward with headshot, okay? Okay, so this is, uh... <laughs> so, we love playing Kaylin against Rakan because, for some reason, Kaylin Trap actually stops Rakan mid-air, okay? So, if you look at this... Uh, all you have to do is prepare EW, okay? Remember, we prepare EW to where you're going. This is a little bit of a mistake. It's We put it a little bit in front of him. It kind of works out because he doesn't have flash. But if he had flash, we might have been in trouble, okay? But EW, very important. Remember, any time you net, must combo with trap. Very important so that you can get plays like this. But usually against a con, you want to pre-place in convex angles so that he can't just flash engage on you, right? <clears throat> this is a fun little uh, cane trap. Oh, yeah, you can trap on uh, Pantheon ulti too. Um, I'm sure you guys know how to do stuff like that, right? Trap on TP and stuff. So in this case, uh, we need to stack headshot. We don't have headshot. EW, um, and then W again, right? So uh, ma, the way ma, we do ma. this one Trop is uh, <clears throat> we, uh, if you look here, the first trap is a little bit of a misdirection. This is never going to hit, right? We're just putting EW down. We're just making sure we W on net, okay? And then the second trap is actually on this convex angle. You'll notice it's on this convex angle. Um, sure, Kane will try and dodge down to this, but I didn't really plan that. It's just kind of lucky. But this this path is on the convex angle, but he will path over. Okay, so he queued over it, and then remember, on trap queue first. Okay, so I queued, and then that's how we got the kill. If you don't queue there, you actually don't get the kill. The queue is like a lot of damage. I, I promise you guys, you need to find the angle to find the queue. 
and the ways to find the Q is to misdirect, Q on CC target with teammates, Q on your own trap. Okay, those are your main ideas. Q with net. Okay, but you need to find a way to land the Q though. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to say about this, but um, it's pretty self-explanatory, right? So basically, we started with ulti because uh, I thought it'd be useful. It actually, kill Lula on accident. It's kind of funny. Now, remember, <laughs> uh, important. We're starting with headshot here, right? Um. So we're gonna lock up, and then we're like, oh shit. The uh, Aurelia is Flash stunning us? Okay, chain Q with Flash. So we chain Q with Flash and ended up killing Fiddle. And now we actually have headshot for the actual Aurelia, right? And you'll notice in this play, you'll notice a common theme in these plays is that you don't actually basic auto attack a single time. That's why you have to start with headshot, right? Is because uh, if you have to basic auto attack to stack headshot, it might be doomed, okay? Um, you're really only base stacking headshot on the uh, front line. Otherwise, if you have this stack headshot on the back line, you're griefing. Unless you're actually hiding your headshot and you have five stacks. That's that's genius, okay? Five stacks, auto, then headshot, that's really good. Then you hide your headshot. But yeah, um, most of these plays, you need to start with headshot, okay? Oh, this one's insane. I don't even know how I did this one. Um, but you can see me preparing traps for the enemy engage. Okay, I stacked headshot and I'm ready. Headshot this squishy target. And then, uh, <laughs> this one's really crazy, okay? This is a two for one. I uh, misdirect the Q. By uh, making sure, because, you know, Zeri's in lethal range, and I want to Q her. But I can't just Q her, right? So I need to combo with Flash or combo with Net, okay? There's the, there's the only two ways. You must combo with Flash, combo with Net. The other way is E Flash, hit Zeri. That's also another way to guarantee um, the E here. You can, you can have multiple ways to kill her, okay? So in this case, we actually use Net on the Recon W, and then Q the Zeri, okay? So basically, the trigger to uh, finding your misdirect Q is they die in one Q. Then misdirect with trap Q or flash. Okay, um, usually net. Um, sorry, trap Q or flash. I said trap net or flash. Sorry. Um, let's look at this one. Oh, this one's another spicy one. So here, um, I'm just gonna ulti first. Usually against assassins, you can ulti first to make it so it's hard for them to go on you. And then, uh, I mean, this one's pretty simple. Um, this guy's just. Uh, I, I mean, I, I, I'm just doing whatever to bait his ulti. Okay, guys, I'm just like. Fucking dumping abilities to just get him to ulti me so I can net. That, a trap. That's basically what it is, okay? I'm just uh, just dumping dumping, dumping EQ to make him ulti me. Wait, but Z... I haven't even seen when he was placed his Z, it's a dingue. There's no... Obviously, there's no more Prowlers anymore, so you guys might be like, what's the point of this play? But actually, flashing over the wall in these kind of positions is actually... uh, You can actually find a lot of angles because it's a pseudo-guarantee on your EQ. Because they won't see your EQ come out. They, they, they literally can't see it. So you don't have to misdirect anything. They just don't know what's coming. You can E flash Q. Okay, so what you see here is just E flash Q immediately. And I do think that um, the headshot here was a mistake. Okay, so if you break it down, you can ignore the whole prowlers and everything after. Um, if you break it down, the auto attack kind of gave away that I was doing something. So if you're going to go for this play, you should not auto attack. You should, in fact, just E flash Q. Okay, or if you're going to E flash cancel against the wall, then you should E flash auto attack headshot auto cancel. But you should E flash Q. Okay. I'd recommend E flash Q hold a headshot. Another uh, Q flash example. Again, um, this is against Ari, so we need to flash a charm. And how can we guarantee the Q while flashing charm? Just Q flash. Okay, so I'm waiting for it. Q flash, boom, I won. Okay, and that's kind of the idea here. Okay, is uh, Q flash is very strong for pseudo guarantee damage onto a carry while dodging an ability. This is another one where you're pseudo guarantee Q flash. So in this case, I'm stacking up headshot, right? And now I know that. Headshot will bring her down to 1 HP. So how do I get the last 1 HP? Well, if I use ulti, uh, she has spell shield, right? And if Q I use flash, flash Q, it's way too obvious. So Q flash is a pseudo guarantee, I promise you. Because they have no idea what you're doing, right? So just Q flash. She has no idea what you're doing. She got hit by the Q because she didn't know she was supposed to spell shield it. She didn't even see it coming, right? And then I hit it with a headshot, okay? And that's how you can make plays like this. Another Q flash example. It seems like Q is uh, your main damage ability. Yeah, <laughs> spoilers, main damage ability until you're level 13. So everything, a lot of, a lot of, you're going to get a lot of value out of Q Flash. So anytime you have to dodge an ability, Q Flash is lit. And I even kind of messed it up here, but uh, at least I dodged Jar Jarvan's damage. But um, yeah, this triple kill is set up by knowing that Q is lethal or close to lethal. And so uh, since the main, and, and you need to dodge an ability, namely the Jarvan EQ. So sprint at them, Q Flash, pseudo guarantee, because they will turn around. And then uh, you can kill everyone. And then the net is very natural after. You don't have to worry about that. I'm sure you guys can instinctively net. Just like net someone, right? And then uh, ulti is very natural, right? You're just lethal. So the, the really the hard part is the initial steps. 
with the uh, Caitlyn combos. Another Q Flash example, you're going to see like a ton of these, I guess. Um, Thresh tried to go for a little uh, misdirect there as well. Here you'll notice that we're just going to wait until we can guarantee Q. And you saw that I waited until I could Q Flash, right? Because if you don't, Ezio will in fact flash your Q, right? Let's see, this is a random quad. We just stack headshot and go for a play here for sure, right? Okay, I'm 2 and 5 in this clip. Oh, I dumped headshot, I'm trolling. So yeah, if you dump headshot, before joining the fight, you must stack first. So you see I'm stacking before joining the fight, right? And then you're like, okay, who I don't want to headshot? Now I want to headshot the closest guy that kills. Boom, done. And then I'm like, okay, I have Q. Oh, I see a trap, Q on trap. I fucked up. Do you see how I fucked up, how Talia can move for a second? Um, that was a mistake because she actually could have flashed the, uh, the Q there. So you hear that, you see the trap. You must Q first. That would have been a perfect play if I Q first. And then uh, when it comes to Zarya, you're at like three items. Then uh, you can E flash, right? Remember, uh, headshot is like lethal on ah, mais... backline target. And uh, net is a headshot. Bon, il y a un moment, ça va, c'est easy. T'as l'habitude, mais le E flash, en vrai, il dit, hein. Je le fais pas souvent. Je vous. So that's whatever. Uh, here's another interesting one. I guess it's another Q flash. You're seeing a lot of Q flash examples here. Basically, anytime uh, they're engaging at you, must trap first. And then, after that, it's Q flash, right? Um, or sorry, uh, must trap first. Since he's killing you, you flash. And then since he's trapped, you Q. See how these habits are just very chained together? Must trap first, he's trapped, then Q, okay? <clears throat> uh, the net and the flash are kind of like whatever. Uh, obviously, you have to flash, otherwise he's going to kill you. But the important parts there are you must trap first, and then on trap, you must Q, okay? Um, another flash over the wall example. Uh, remember, we started with headshot, always starting with headshot. And then if you want to flash over, just E flash Q. Or in this case, I E flash double headshot. Or Q first, E flash double headshot is kind of lit. Um, but yeah, that guy's just dead. <clears throat> Another example where they are engaging on you, so you must trap first. Um, very important. I, I look at this. This guy's 6, 1, and 3 galley, okay? Something happens, dude, it doesn't matter what happens, you must trap first or you lose, okay? So first thing I did was trap first, and then the second thing I did was trap first, right? And then I Q'd on trap. That's the only way you're ever going to win. It's trap first, then Q on trap. Oh, I survived here. Don't worry about that. Again, um, another <laughs> example where uh, melee uh, carries engaging on you. Must trap first. I, I, again, it's, it's really the same thing. If you take anything away from this video, you must trap first, okay? And then you make your play um, once they get trapped. If you don't, if you can't do that, then it's unplayable. Right? This one's just kind of funny. Um, I'm trying to snipe this Gragas, right? So I'm going for an EQ here. But then uh, somehow Swain, Swain flashes into it and blocks it. And then I shoot Gragas in midair. That's just kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> that's just a funny play for you guys to uh, take a look at. This one's a Q2v2, so in this case, uh, make sure that if you can cash out Q, you do. So I saw that uh, Varus is CC'd, so I, fly, I uh, cashed out on Q, because that's all your damage. So make sure you get the Q off. And then the second part to this was just flashing enemy damage. So the CC part was Nautilus, so then the damage part is Varus Q. So you'll notice that the two part important parts of this were Q Varus when he gets CC'd, when it's guaranteed, then flash his damage, his Q, and then you win, okay? Uh, this is apparently a funny clip. Again, we're starting with headshot. Um, probably he's gonna headshot someone here. Oh, he stepped on a trap. He's just dead. Um, <laughs> can I get an XDD in the YouTube comments? He's just dead. Okay, so now you saw the highlight clips. Let me show you uh, some XDD. more normal clips. The uh, clips I have in the last three days. Okay. Um, so let's see if we can watch these and some some look at some more mundane uh Kalen clips. Will we explain um, how these uh, mechanical habits are useful? <clears throat> so in this clip, I tried to um, trap Swain, but you'll notice that uh, the instant I try to trap, I just go for the, if I can cash out EQ, I did, right? Actually, no flash. If I can hit it, I just hit it. That's all your damage. And then here's a tip. Uh, against like highly mobile champions like Rakan and whatnot, you should save your Q. Um, when Nidalee stepped on that trap, you should definitely Q her, but you'll notice that I'm just focusing Rakan, right? And then I just, I just hit him until I can do it, until I can kill him. And then finally, when I think I can land the EQ, I go for it, okay? So it's very important to not just toss out Q for fun. This one's also pretty simple. I'm going for the trap on Milio, but he gets away. Kaisa flashes forward. We just uh, trap on convex angles, both convex angles, and then she dies. That's about it, right? <clears throat> we just focus Kaisa. Okay, so you notice I'm holding ulti because I can't actually hit her yet, right? And then I wait until uh, Zaya is in a spot where her teammates can't block the ulti. And then in this one, um, I just wait until I think Ari's going to uh, dash in. And the instant she gets done, I Q. Okay? Don't greed for the trap or whatever. If you can, remember, if you can cash out, the whole point of trap in the early mid game is to land the Q. 
So if you can land the Q, just toss the Q, right? So there, I just net because I know Ari's going to uh, ulti forward. And then uh, when she got stunned, I immediately Q. I'm not trying to go for trap or anything. If, I can, if you can get the trap guarantee, go for it. But uh, oftentimes, you cannot get the trap guaranteed. Okay, so this one's kind of a classic. You can see uh, in this setup, I have a trap in the uh, chicken's bush, right? At a convex, at a convex angle. So that if they path into the chicken's bush towards me, they will get hit. And then my EW is also at a convex angle, right? On, on a con uh, Along the wall, at, on a convex angle, right? And then uh, last but not least, you can see that uh, with Elise Flash Cocoon, uh, I prepare Q Flash, right? To make sure that uh, I can get more value out of my Flash. I can hit the Zaya. I know it's not full damage, but it's, uh, it's uh, worth enough for me to go for it, right? Um, so yeah, more Q Flash ideas. Okay, this one's, this one's kind of interesting. I remember this one. So uh, you, should, you can think of your traps as uh, basically extensions of the wall. So if you see like a, a mobile enemy carry or support, right I did a, it. like uh, a, a spot where you can cut them off. So in this case, my shit goes in the river. She's about to round this corner. If I put a trap at where this ash is kind of standing here, um, then at that, at that angle, then she can't escape, right? And so she's forced to fight or step on the trap. So then in this case, I can like land a net. I, I kind of messed up the net, but um, <clears throat> all this trap and net enabled me to find an angle for the Q, right? Um, and then that gave me the dust blade, which is kind of funny. So yeah, uh, you should definitely think of traps as like extensions of the wall. Okay, you want to build it. You want to basically build the wall with your traps. <clears throat> I mean, this clip is just a, a typical uh, trap first. I'm like, is work is gonna is work gonna go on me? If he is, I just trap first. So I trap first, and then uh, I you know he, he can't do anything, so you just EQ him. This is pretty pretty basic, right? Um, so one thing, if there is like an easy thing for you guys to take out of this uh, against melee diver, trap first. Yeah, you know, a lot of these plays are looking like trap first. I mean, this is just another uh, convex. Concave angle. I mean, it, it is really nothing to explain here except that I trapped the bush where uh, someone will path. I don't know. I didn't know it was Kaiser, but I know someone's going to path there. So, uh, yeah, very simple. Uh, this one's a classic. At the tower, if they are in front of the tower like this, um, you should just put a trap behind them um, so that they're stuck. And then on trap, you can just EQ, EW. Or sorry. Yeah, you can just EQ or just Q them first or whatever. Um, very simple. This one's uh, trapping engaged. So, uh, in this case, it's actually really interesting. If you didn't know, traps in this area are invisible, okay? So, like, um, <clears throat> traps in these spots are actually invisible to the enemy if they have no vision. Um, so, I don't know if you guys remember, but I had, like, a, a Twitch Travels or a tournament against Tyler 1. And there were traps here that were literally invisible. So, on the enemy screen, they can't even see it when they round the corner. Um, <clears throat> and so, against this Rakan, uh, he, like, tries to W past it, but he, he didn't even know it was there. And so... On trap, we just Q, and then we just dump all our abilities, and it's just a 1-5, right? Uh, that's why we like playing against Rakan so much. They love to dash onto or OT through these little uh, choke points, these little trap angles. <coughs> so it's great. Good stuff. You're a great matchup against Rakan. Bon, pour lieu, on verra. Yeah, Je vais it looks tester. like the most common play, um, commonly played, uh, common play is going to be Q flash and just generally good traps. Uh, a classic. This is just a classic con, 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 convex angle. I mean, it's the same thing. And then on... Uh, on uh on uh what's it called trap you Q right if you want to finish your the play yourself you can um on trap you can Q and then uh headshot and then E flash you can try and go for something like that but uh, I didn't think I had the damage so I didn't go for it so I got the finish instead um <clears throat> and then we can go rejoin the rest of the fight I can't tell what's going on so you should just trap to defend against the uh, engage and uh, you can see that Hecarim did in fact try and engage on us or I guess ulti us maybe not. Maybe engage is not the right word. But yeah, he tried to ulti us and he ulti right onto their trap. Okay, so anytime these melee champions are going on you, if they are not trapped, you did not do your job. More uh, more trap examples. Um, in this case, Kane is going to take this path around an inhibitor. Very simple. On trap, Q, right? It's all it's all the same stuff, right? Like, you, you guys you guys, you guys, know how to do this. Oh, yeah, this yeah, one's a little bit more nuanced. So I was playing against the Yasuo bot. And then we need a, a Sono ulti to, to kill the Yasuo. So we want to siege the tower, but if they engage on it, Sono ulti is going to get blocked by Yasuo wall, right? So I ulti first to get the Yasuo wall. And so when they go for some kind of like uh, crazy, uh, when they go for some kind of 2v2, we know the Yasuo wall is down. So I'm down to hit this tower. And then uh, <coughs> if we fight, I'm just going to aim Yasuo, right? So we're fighting here. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to fight. We should trap ourselves. And then I'm waiting for the uh, the Sona, waiting for the Sona ulti so I can trap him. Right? Oh, Sona ulti trap. And then Q on trap. Boom. GG, right? Um, so that's why I ulti first. Sometimes ulti does not need to do damage. They can just get uh, important beliefs. This is kind of like a, a niche case. And then uh, let's just look at this last one. Um, we have a little team fight going on here. Um, this is very simple. You just hit the closed guy. Uh, <laughs> you just hit the closed guy. You CC on uh, CC, uh, layer CC with trap. 
thump EQ when you hit everything. And then uh, walk forward, look for a headshot. Um, I don't know what this guy's doing, but uh, he's kind of trolling, right? Um, <clears throat> the rest of this is just stacking headshot, right? So I'm just going to kite until I have headshot. So yeah, this guy can't do anything. And then I should have queued on Velkaz. That was a big mistake, actually, I think. If I don't queue on Velkaz there, um, that's not very good. The rest of this is chasing. I have no headshot stacks, but I think I can just right-click him to death, which I can. And then, uh, yeah, they're, they're all dead here. So more of a uh, static into IE or Kraken or whatever kind of build. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of all the Kalen plays I have for you. So basically, in a nutshell, the mechanics you really need to know are uh, trap yourself, unengage, right? Trap yourself before engage. Q flash is a pseudo guarantee on Q. So when you're flashing an important ability, you oh, should cool, Q cool, the combo. Okay. Or trap the combo. Always have Q flash or trap flash every time you flash. Pretty much no exceptions. Every time you net, you must combo with the trap or Q. Sur la fin, okay. Because it's a free W timer. Oui, il y a eu pas mal de clips, pas mal de trucs intéressants. C'est pas mal de structurer avec des clips pour avoir un peu d'exemple. Et bah justement pour voir un peu les situations différentes parce que dans toutes les situations, il y a des trucs, euh, des petits détails à changer quoi. Make sure you have headshot ready every time you go into a fight. So anytime you're clearing mid, make sure you have headshot after you clear the wave. That's why static is so good. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you did not, I am sorry. Uh, you should probably be teaching this champion, not me. I could probably learn a thing or two from you. <laughs> if you if you if somebody teach me, feel free to leave something in the comments below or a video. I'm down. Um, always down to learn something. It's a good video. But, uh, Bonne vidéo. Yeah, thank you for watching. Long, quand même. Definitely hit me up. Mais, uh... Il y a pas mal de, pas mal de trucs, c'est vachement cool.